Good morning. Welcome to Deschler Park. I'm Alan McKnight. I'm the director of the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department. I want to welcome everyone to the 2013 Arbor Day celebration. We've been doing this for a lot of years. Uh, it's a great event. It's a great way to talk about trees, the value of trees in the community, and they're so important to us as part of our Recreation and Parks Department. You know, the south side of, of Columbus has just seen a flurry of activity this week, working with the Harmony Project, all their volunteers. They've built a playground, cleaned up the community, they've painted murals, and today they planted trees. We're going to be planting almost 200 trees here over the next couple of days in celebration of Arbor Day. To get us started this morning, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, and I'd like Michael Harper to come forward. Michael's with the Alvis House and been working with the Harmony Project. Michael's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good afternoon. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. How many of these trees did you plant? All of them. All right. All right. Everybody else was slacking off, huh? And you did all the work. We've got some uh, guests here today, and I just want to recognize real quickly, we've got Mayor Coleman, uh, Carla Rothen, and Jeff McNeely from the Recreation and Parks Commission. Uh, we've got a couple of community members here. I know Connie Boykin was here with the Civic Association and the Area Commission. Thank you for being out. And of course, the Harmony Project and all your volunteers and David Brown. Again, we couldn't do what we do without all your, your efforts here. To get us going this morning, I'm going to introduce Mayor Coleman. Mayor Coleman's always come out to Arbor Day. He loves to get involved, loves to plant these trees, understands the value of uh, improvement to the environment. Uh, he's made the, uh, the green initiatives a priority of his, and that includes planting trees through his initiative. We're going to plant almost 4,000 trees in 2013. So, Mayor Coleman. Thank you. This is a great week. Arbor Week, Arbor Day. Happy Arbor Day. All right, so uh, we are going to plant 4,000 trees in the city of Columbus this year. Just to think about that, 4,000 trees in neighborhoods all over the city. And today, what's about 200 or so all over the city. And we're bringing together Dodge Park, Lincoln Park, Westgate Park, Deschler and Fairwood Parks, Nelson Park, Whetstone Park. And we're bringing together volunteers from all over the city to help out. Help out um, uh, in, in all of these parks in every part of our city. Uh, one of our greatest group of volunteers is the Harmony Project. And I'm so proud of these ladies and gentlemen. And, and they've worked so hard with 750 volunteers this week. Working in neighborhoods all over the city. It's here for the Harmony Project. They're planting 100 trees a day. They built a playground uh, just a couple days ago, painted murals. Uh, they have uh, painted seven storefronts and cleaned up daycares and intersections. They're making a difference. And that's one of my favorite groups in the city, the Harmony Project. And they also sing pretty well, too. <laughs> so I'm proud of them. And this is a great neighborhood we're in right now. And I look back here and see all these trees planted. I know it'll make this neighborhood better as a result. It'll be greener. It'll feel better. It will look better. It will add to the, uh, the environment. Uh, and it would add to so many things, the sustainability of this neighborhood, that to the air quality, to the storm water. It'll add energy savings. And it'll cool down the neighborhood in the process with shade and comfortability. Trees have a way of bringing people together. And uh, that's why I love trees so much. So I want to thank everybody for coming together. You know, Columbus has been a, a tree, US, tree city USA for 34 straight years. And we're going to be that way again this year. 34 straight years. How about that? So happy Arbor Day. And I'll turn it back over to Al McKnight, and I'm going to take off my coat, and I think we're going to go over here and help plant this last tree over here. What, what kind of tree is that? It's a what? Crimson Sunset Maple. Crimson Sunset Maple. It's a beautiful tree. All right. Thank you, Mayor. 
one of the, uh, the roles of Recreation and Parks Commission is to support the department and their activities and their programs. And they work uh, day in and day out and help us meet our mission, provide the services we do, the programs we offer, uh, maintain the parks and all the activities that, uh, that go on throughout the system throughout the year. With us today is Carla Rothen, who is the president of the commission. I'd like to ask Carla to come up and say something. Well, he's always a hard act to follow. You know, maybe I should have gone before him. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to thank everybody for coming today. We were going to give a little few little facts about Arbor Day. You know, most holidays celebrate the past events, but Arbor Day looks to the future. It was created by J. Sterling Morton in Nebraska and first celebrated as a holiday in 1885, which is hard to believe, isn't it? And uh, the mayor covered a lot of the, uh, the facts about uh, what we're doing today and thanking the volunteers, especially the Harmony Project. But we want to thank the volunteers that, that work for our Recreation and Parks Department all year long and also our staff. We have one of the best Recreation and Parks Departments in the nation, of course, and our parks are some of the most beautiful in the country. And so we're very, very honored to have all of you with us today, all of your families, because you know, when I was a little kid, I took a little tree on Arbor Day. I got it from school and I planted it and I felt really good about that. And then, you know, about a week later, my, my daddy didn't see it and he mowed it down. <laughs> so I like to see the little tags out here on all the trees, but it does teach children and it brings uh, that, that the environment is important and that we need to give back to the environment and give back to our community and volunteerism. So thank you all so much for coming today and thank you for being a part of this uh, great city. It's really, it's a pleasure to serve you as a, the uh, Recreation Parks Commissioner. So thank you. Thank you, Carla. Again, you know, it's been mentioned a couple of times already, but volunteers are extremely important to this department. Uh, last year alone, uh, we estimate the value of volunteer efforts for our department were almost two and a half million dollars. So you can see it has a huge impact on the ability for this department to deliver the services to the community, to maintain these parks, to provide the programs we do, and you're part of that. The mission of the Recreation and Parks Department is to enrich the lives of our citizens and I tell everybody all the time when we come out to these events, you're part of that mission today. You are enriching the lives of the citizens of Columbus. So I want to give you again another round of applause and thank you for all that you've done. It's a great event, great program, and we're so excited to be out here today. Now I'd like to introduce David Brown from the Harmony Project. You didn't know you were going to say anything? Well, come on up and say something, David. You, you can speak off the cuff. David's been a great partner over the years. This isn't the first project he's worked with Recreation and Parks and on, and uh, uh, we hope to work with many more projects with you in the future, we David. We do, too. We do, too. Thank you. Well, we want to start by just, you know, saying what they've said, thank you. But I want to also start uh, just by telling you a little bit of history of this week. People all week long have asked us, where did the idea come from to, to do all of this work together on Livingston and the South Side? Well, the idea came from Mayor Coleman. He issued a call to action, and he said that this neighborhood th needs some love. It needs attention refocused on it. There's a great history here. There are great people here in this community, and all we needed to do was get more people to focus on the community, and this week, 750-something people spending time on Livingston Avenue and Fairwood Park and Deschler Park. We've had Alvis House. We've had Nation Nationwide Children's Hospital. We've had the JCC. We've had volunteers from all over this city working together in a neighborhood that many of them had not been in before. And that's, if nothing else had been accomplished, if not one tree had been planted, if a playground had not been built, just the fact that we all came together in one community and shook hands and worked together, that was an accomplishment that was worth celebrating right there. <laughs> but that's not all that got done. Um, but, but none of this could have got done today, and what happened in the park on Wednesday could not have gotten done if it was not for the Department of Recreation and Parks. And, and when I first went to Rec and Parks and I met with Alan, I kept saying Parks and Rec, Parks and Rec, because I watched the show, you know? <laughs> and so I kept saying Parks and Rec, Parks and Rec, and they kept correcting me. And then I loved it because they said, well, let, let us help you figure out how to never say it the wrong way again. And they said, we believe people first, 
parks second. So recreation is people, and then parks is parks, obviously. So in Columbus, it's recreation and parks because they always put people first. So I want to thank Mayor Coleman. I want to thank Director McKnight, the entire staff at um, Columbus Recreation and Parks, all of our partners who've been out here this week working so hard. Thank you so much. This has been a tremendous week, and we got one more day tomorrow with students from South High School, Bexley High School, and Columbus School for Girls cleaning 100 city blocks all around South High School to earn their trip to Washington, D.C. So one more day, one more day. Thank you, David. Yes, sir. Okay, Connie Boykin with the uh, Desher Park Civic Association and the Area Commission. Not driving park. Not driving park. Park. Desher Park, right? Yeah. Connie Boykin. Hey. Um, this has been a dream uh, that has started to come to fruition. Um, five years ago, uh, when I took over the commission, one of the things that uh, became a commissioner, one of the things that I wanted to see was this park transform and turned into a space that the community could use. This has been a field forever. And now today, with your help, is now becoming a park. And I think that all of you who have planted trees here, who have put in playground equipment, you know, this is a very historical moment because you're going to be a part of history. Your grandkids can come and see it. Your great-grandkids can come and see all these trees that you plant. But also, I would like to say that Deschler Park is very thankful for the work that you have done. And we will remember the Harmony Project, the City of Columbus, the Recreation Department, and, all, and the mayor for all the good works that you guys have done in our neighborhood, and I want to thank you. Thank you, Connie. Oh. Oh. All right. All right, David, one more time. One more thing. I also want to point out that these trees were purchased by people from all across this country. It was in one day on Facebook, we held a fundraiser called One Day 100 Trees, and people from literally states all across the country donated $18 each, and we raised $9,240 in one day to buy every tree that's planted in this park today. So this is a gift from all across the country to our city. That's it. All right, now, now we're going to plant this last tree over here. So David, I want you to come back up. Connie, commissioners, mayor, let's walk over here. Thank you all for coming out today. Again, thank you so much for the work you've done this week. It's really made a difference in the community. We really appreciate everything that you've done. Great, great.